This is Keith Bandit Ball with BikerNet Studios, and we're here live at Smokeout 12 with Ron Harris of Chop Docs from Michigan, right? Yep, Waterford, Michigan. Tell us, uh, tell us just a little bit about your shop. Uh, we're a small shop based out of Michigan. Um, we uh, practically work on just about everything. We uh, you'll chop. A lawnmower. Uh, our motto is we'll <laughs> chop your lawnmower. Yeah, we work on anything Triumph PSA, Harley, Honda. We're uh, we're not allergic to anything, <laughs> and uh, we also we all do all of our paint work, body work, everything all in house. Man, we're start to finish shop. Um, you know, we try to accommodate to everybody. You know, and everybody in the bike world just want to keep everybody up and rolling. You know. Yeah. Where's Where's the shop? Where is Waterford? Um, right outside of uh, Pontiac. Oh. And uh, we're. Uh, and this is always funny. We're seven Finch miles from Ron Finch's house. <laughs> I always like to talk about everybody gets a kick out of that. Well, Ron Finch now has a shop behind his house. Yes, yep. yeah. I've known Ron yep. Finch for Ron is great. decades He's a riot. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, well, what's your background? Where'd you learn chopping um, motorcycles? I'm actually I'm a third generation body man by trade, but my dad and my grandpa were always into bikes and stuff, and we were into hot rods. And muscle cars and drag racing and stuff and then uh, you know we always had the bikes going in the background and stuff and then I just sort of really started kicking in with the bike thing and just kept going with it and I pretty much it's my lifestyle now. Well you know once you fall in love with motorcycles it's hard to go back. Yeah it's it it's it you know either you love it or hate it you know some days I hate it but a lot of days I love it. <laughs> well I've always believed and I still believe and even uh, to me, the smokeout's a great example. The motorcycles really represent one of the last bastions of freedom in this country. Yeah, you know, you know it's nice. You know, a lot of a lot of places you go, you get a lot of people who are. You know, there's there's a split line sort of in the custom motorcycle world, but you get you know like coming here to the smokeout, it's everybody's bare bones stripped down, and it's you know run you know bring what you want. I mean, I've seen Hondas coming through here, just ungodly amount of Hondas, BSAs, and. I don't think I've seen so many shovel heads in one place. And it's just great. It's a good mix of everything. A lot of younger people in the crowd coming in, you know, getting into the industry and stuff and getting into the biker world, which is really good. What you want to keep going is keep these younger people in, keep them involved. You know, it just keeps, keeps us all up and going. Well, you, to me, you know, it's just absolutely wonderful that a guy can do yeah. build a chopper. Mm -hmm. You know, that he doesn't have to go get it. You know, like if you're in Germany or right. something, you have to have everything approved that you do to the motorcycle, and it, and it's uh, it's pretty restrictive. But here, still, fortunately, we can we can still build motorcycles, yeah, yeah. and you can go out and run that goddamn thing. Yeah, you know? run it to right into the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Just keep putting oil in it. You yeah. do oil change that leak out, keep putting it in. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, do you have a favorite bike that you like to work on? I mean, do, are you a shovelhead fan or um, a BSA guy? I, I do a lot of Triumphs and BSAs. Um, I do a lot of iron heads, uh, a lot of shovelhead stuff. I, am, I like the mix of all. I like the overall, the build, the design. You know, I like doing the fabric paintwork. You know, I love doing my paintwork. I like just, it doesn't matter to me what power plant's in it. It's all what I get to do on the outside and make it the bike that it is when it's a finished product and what you have when it's done. Yeah, that's very cool. That's very cool. Um, so are you in, you're involved in some product designs too? Yeah, yep. I um I have uh, my own line of uh, C-Shocks. I have uh, I have my own fuel line kits. Um, I just started producing um, chain tensioners and uh, passenger chopper pegs. Those are my last two uh, items I've just came out with, so uh, those are new out, and I'm working on seat pans right now, and I have two lines of handlebars. Wow, wow, you got a pretty good line going. Yeah, it's slowly working. My goal is to have 10 of my own personal products by the end of this year. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. That's terrific. Well, um, what's your wife do in the shop? My wife, well, she can find a way to spend more of the money. <laughs> <laughs> she helps out with the bills and stuff, helps clean things up, make sure I eat through the day. <laughs> As I usually, I go to the shop, I'm there at 6.30 in the morning, usually not home till 9, 10, 30 at night. So she tries to keep everything in tune with that, with the bills and stuff like that. But she's starting to get a lot more involved 
taking over with some stuff. She's going to be there more full time, answer the phone so I can get more things done. How big's the shop? Tell me a little bit about the shop. Our shop is uh, 1,800 square feet. Um, we have a full spray booth in there. Um, we got four bike racks, uh, pallet racking everywhere, so you can make room in there. Um, you know, we've got pretty much all the machine. We got the old lathe. We got a, um, a bridge port. You know, welders. You know, pretty much basically everything. You can never shop. We have a small showroom up front for our T-shirts and, and our products to be up there. Um, we're just pretty much stay small. Just not trying to. You know, I got it to where I can keep a grasp on it right now. And as I go into a bigger building, it's going to be more and more that I can take on. But you got a lot of equipment in an 1800 square foot building. Oh yeah. This, yeah. Thing, this thing's tight. Yeah, it's yeah. tight. And then we just started pushing, doing a lot more service work and stuff too. Yeah. I had a guy working part time doing service for me. And, huh. you know, like I say, I got one section of the shop set up for all my painting, all my body work, and the other side set up for all our mechanical and our fabrication and stuff. Huh. Well, you know, uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank uh, you. I really look forward to. Uh, uh, maybe working together with you on projects in in sure. the future and That'd be great. help you promote your uh, promote your products on Bikernet and uh, and uh, I wish you all the success in the world in the in the coming years. All right, all right brother. You.